Welcome back to the channel, my freedom loving 2A supporting patrons. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Boyd Harness Company H51 double rifle case. Alright, so we're back today you guys with the Boyd Harness Company H51 series case. Um, this is going to be the biggest case they offer. Um, it does retail for $2.91 on their website. Um, I'll leave a link down on Amazon for it. It's normally uh, $200 bucks on there. Um, as of filming this right now, it's on sale for $181. And when I picked it up, it was $170. So you can get a good deal on it if you look around. Like I said, I'll leave that Amazon link below. Uh, so exterior dimensions here are going to be 53 and a half by 17 and a quarter by 7 inches tall. Um, it is made out of 120D no break polypropylene, whatever that means. Uh, you saw the intro. It is tough stuff. Uh, the wheels on it are going to be uh, stainless steel ball bearing wheels. There's two of them on the bottom here as you can see. I'll show it rolling real quick. Let's see the wheels here. It rolls nicely even over these super uneven bricks. Durability, like I said, is there. Yeah. Nice and durable. Flip around to the front here, and you got four uh, steel powder coated latches. So you can see those there. Um, got a big handle here. And then we'll flip over to the other side, and you got another handle on the top of there for dragging it along with you. And uh, those are going to be steel hinge pins on there. So nice and tough. Um, you got two different places where you can throw locks on it. One there, and one over here. And it says this meets most uh, TSA flying requirements. What it means by most, I'm not sure exactly, but I'm sure every airline has different requirements as to uh, what you can fly with. Um, I use this just for driving back and forth to uh, Kansas out to the farm and uh, this always ends up on the bottom and I just pile stuff on top of it and it holds up just fine. Um, we'll open it up here. Flip the latches. Oh and these are made to be stackable. I'll leave one latch on real quick. Stackable. So the way the grooves line up here, if you get more than one, they line up with the bottom there. So that way you can stack them on top of one another. And not have them sliding anywhere. Pressure relief valve is going to be right here if you're wanting to use that. It just goes in and out. Flip it open and see all the goodness. So one thing I recommend is lining everything up real good laying it out on top of that foam before you cut it out to make sure you can fit as much stuff in there as you want get it in the correct orientation um, they do you can buy uh, replacement foam from Boyd for 30 bucks um, so you want to be pretty set on your setup and what you got going unless you want to drop 30 bucks on replacement foam so uh, just real quick kind of so you can gauge the size of it. It's going to be my 11.3 inch upper. Obviously the lower is on it already. Uh, a couple optics. Suppressor. Another optic. 8.3 inch upper. And then bad boy back there is going to be our uh, 18 inch 223 wild build. The inside dimensions are going to be 51 by 15 by 6. So quite a bit of internal room there. Uh, empty, I think the case weighs 24 pounds, so it's pretty heavy. And then loaded down with everything I got in there, it's coming in at 48 pounds and uh, just handles it fine. On the inside here, you can see it has an O-ring tucked down inside of there. Runs the full length. It is uh, water resistant and dust proof. Keep everything in there as dry as possible and nice and clean. Alright, so that'll be my review on this case. Um, 
I know I'll probably get some comments saying it's a little pricey and you know it is but you want to be able to protect your investments best you can when you got that much money sunk in all this stuff you know you you just want to make sure you protect them best you can um, one thing I left out I think is a uh, turkey slicer so lay everything out draw around it with a sharpie then hit it up with the turkey slicer is the best way of cutting through that foam made it a lot easier a little messy but much easier so if you have any questions or on anything on it let me know otherwise I appreciate you watching as always you guys stay safe out there and God bless